Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I have got a package. I've got a large package here and it's from a company called J Dictions. J Dictions. They do something called resin cree and they also do silicon resin. And it's stuff that you mix up and you can put it into moulds. I've got some moulds as well. Now I've I've not made these. My sister Sandra has. She does a lot of resin. Now, there's two different ones in here. There's one that's a powder that you mix up. And there's one where you've got an A and B mould and you mix them together. Now, I have saw some of the powder one being made up. And one of my other friends, it does solidify really quickly. It's got no smelly stuff in it whatsoever. It's safe for, it says, all the family to use. It's odourless. There's no chemicals, no nasty chemicals in it. And it's supposed to set within a half an hour. But one of my friends says that she leaves it overnight. She gets, I'm going to take these moulds out here. So I got these separate. And I've had to wait until these came in to show you what's in the bag and then do a little sample. Now, oh, there we go. Now, these moulds are really quite cheap. I got these ones. These are for making coasters. So you can set your cup on the top of it for making coasters. And you can use, they're made of silicon, so you can use any of the types of resin with it. I'll throw those on the floor. Now I've got these other ones. Now look at these. These are little goldfish. So I thought I could use some of the powder and see the powder one and see if it actually comes out of these little shapes. I'll use some of the other resin as well that you mix the traditional resin. And that's a little fish in there. You can't really see it. But you pour your stuff in this side. So I've got three of those. These are only about three pounds four pounds on amazon and the other ones are these that i got it's i didn't know there were two sets and these are for making little necklaces or earrings or you can put them on a keychain and it is the zodiac now i actually these are the star signs of the zodiac i actually thought it was the other ones i was ordering i thought it was the one like mine's is libra and i thought it was the scales but it's not, it actually says on it Sagittarius, Virgo, Leo, there's Libra there and the little star sign, I'll put it on that dark area that you can see it. So I was going to use those and see what some of them come out with the powdered resin crete. So I'm going to pop them aside. I'll leave a link underneath the video to the website and to the links. They sell on Amazon in the UK and the USA and if you're into crafting this and you like doing resin or even want to try it it's worth having a go now I remember years and years ago one of my friends had like a silicon set and you put dry flowers and things in it and the smell was unbelievable and it made us as high as case. I think that you got off the market until they changed it where the smell wasn't going to like do you any damage. Uh, so I've got to try this. Now what have we got? I've got, oh there's a big box in here. Let's see, I'm going to get this out of the box. And you'll probably hear Mutley in the background because Mutley's just appeared because they heard me opening stuff. Now this is the liquid two-part resin, plastic resin. Now this one, the powder one, actually I'll tell you a bit more about that because I want to make, this one is very heat resistant as well. It says up to 300, I'm going to read it because I've got it here. So the powder one. It says it's safe for all the family to use. Now the powder one that's in here. I'll put that aside. Now I've seen my sister Sandra using the liquid ones. And a lot of crafters love this. 
So I was thinking maybe some of the liquid, I was going to make a coaster and put some crochet hooks in there, but I haven't got, I can't find my little set. So I was going to make one coaster and put some buttons in it with the silicon one, with the two part liquid silicon, and then make something with this. Maybe some of those, you can paint this stuff. Now this one is water based. I'll move this box out of the way so Motley doesn't get it. Now it says it's water based, this one. This is, it says 30 minutes full curing. Now mo I did look on, on Amazon and a lot of the people said it's actually better to leave it overnight. But it does say that as you're mixing it, it does start to solidify and it solidifies quite quick. But to get it so that it's not so, you don't take it out too early. A lot of people have actually been recommending that I just leave it in overnight. So this is a big bag and it says for this, it is, you can make masterpieces in minutes. All without the nasty chemicals. There's no nasty chemicals in it. Whether you like resin artwork or you're a complete newbie, well I'm a complete, I've seen my sister using this one, but I'm a complete beginner with this one. I love arts and crafts. That's what started my channel off was art and crafts. So it says it's water based and it's got no harmful chemicals in it. It has got zero volatile organic compounds. So I take it that means it's not going to go on fire. Now, it says it's odour free and BPA free. I don't know what that means. I really don't. Now, it's non-flammable and it's food safe, it says, for peace of mind. So, you can use it for making coasters and maybe making something where you might set cakes or something on it. The, it's bubble free, results every time. Perfect for making coasters. It's got durable and heat resistant up to 392 degrees Fahrenheit. So I need to find my little scales and I'll put my little, I've got little silicon um, mixing jugs so we can try that. Now this one is the liquid one. And I am a complete beginner at this. Just like many other people might be. Oh, so you've got a A bottle and a B bottle. Oh, you get a little mixer. Oh, that's cool. A little knife to mix, mix, mix. And some instructions. Now, I do know what you do with this is you mix A and B. And it should tell you on it. My sister says it's really easy to use. Two times UV protection, so it's not going to go yellow in a hurry. Crystal clear, high gloss, odourless, non-flammable, bubble free and non-toxic. Bubble free sounds really good. I've seen people on YouTube making resin things and you see them with this little burner lighter and they're, bub they're actually sort of using the heat to burst the bubbles that come up to the top. So we'll put that to the test with the way I mix things. So anyway, we've got these, it's epoxy resin liquid, there is a clear instruction book, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh there's all the steps, you need a silicon sheet, a pair of gloves, silicon stick, I've got that, um, a spreader, I don't have one of those, I've got measuring cups, uh, I've got moulds, says optional, what else would you do with it? Pour it. One of my nephews actually makes resin tables and they're absolutely amazing. I'll need to get a picture of them. Now pigment, I don't have that. We'll have to do something clear. I do have some powder. I've got some micro powder that I can put in a little bit so if I do if I do a coaster with the silicon and I do a coaster with that I can put the clear silicon in pop my buttons in that I want to put on just to make a nice easy thing or I could make a couple of these little things and I've got some 
micro powder that's like really crushed, crush, crush glitter. I can mix that in and then pour it over the back and pour some more on so it'll have like a nice coloured back. And I wish my sister Sandra was here. She could help me with this. Oh, here. Use a torch or heat gun on low in a sweeping motion about eight inches from the resin to pop the bubbles. For smaller castings, the bubbles can be popped with a toothpick. I've got some of those. Avoid scraping the sides. Cover your art to protect it from dust overnight. Make these little gold fishes and make some of these little things. We'll mix a little bit of that up. And we might even just make a solid coaster just to see how it is. So I've got a little mat down. Now what I found out is with this, when it says 10 and 3 base water by weight, 10 and 3, the 10 is the powder and the 3 is the water. So 100 grams of powder, you use 30 mils of water. So so what I've found out from other beginners with this, the best way to work it is 100 grams of powder to 30 mils of water. Don't, don't go by 30 grams or 35 grams of powder to 100 mils of water. That is not what it means. Now, I do think they should make this much, much clearer. I do think it would be better if they said that if you use 50 grams of powder then you only use 15 mils of water if you use 100 grams of powder use 30 mils of water 200 grams if that way it's so much clearer it would save a lot of beginners for making a pure mess with this and then having to go searching on youtube on how to use it i have found from everyone that i've been speaking to and reading the comments and other videos about that this powder that most of the time everyone is so confused by this mix ratio so the easiest way to understand is 100 grams of powder to 30 mils of water so i would suggest that if you have a mask you put a mask on it's very very fine powder and i might make a mess tipping it out so i'm going to move that over to the side now it says it's eco-friendly as well. It's got no nasty stuff in it. It's got no nasty plastics and things in. So what I'm going to do is I'll bring that closer so you can see. And I'm going to start putting the powder into the water and giving it a little mix. Now you might think it's not all going to go in there, but look at this. It is. It's really milky and quite, I hope I'm making it properly. And I'm hoping that the advice that I've read and saw on YouTube with 100 mils, 100 grams of powder to 30 mils of water. I'm just going to tip that in. A beginner would do anyway. And it's, powder, it's easily washed out. I had some on my hands and I washed it off. It was not itchy or anything. I'm going to pop that over there. And I'm going to mix this in. So I've just moved everything out the way while I mix this. Do it gently because I've splattered it around a little bit. So I've got a couple of my moulds. Now it tells you to do it sort of gently so you don't get it full of bubbles. And make sure you scrape down the sides. Now I'm going to go with that. I'll put that out of the way. And I've sloshed it all over the place here. So I've got a couple of my little fishies. And we'll pour it in. Wait, I need a little stick. See if I've got a little pokey stick. And we'll bring this down a little bit. I did get the powder all over. <laughs> it's messy a little bit. If you're not careful. And look at my hands. 
But it's just, it, do you know what? It's like I've been playing around in icing sugar. So I'll just gently let that pour in and use my little stick to make sure it goes in to those little crevices. If it's a little raised, that's okay. Now, when I did get this, I didn't have any moulds. They were going to give me moulds. It's starting to get thick already. So you've got to make sure that you're all prepared for this. I'm going to go down into that little spine bit of that fish to make sure it goes in to all of that. I'll gently move that one out of the way and we'll do this one. Well, 100 mils of the powder, 100 grams of the powder. And oh, look how thick it's getting really quickly, isn't it? It's like when you did that plaster of Paris thing. This might work or it might not, people. I might end up having to do a coaster and then <laughs> just a white coaster. My sister Sandra's going to love this. She's got loads and loads of moulds. Loads and loads. Right, a little bit quicker, Alison. Go a little bit quicker. We're starting to set here. You don't have time. You don't have a lot of time with this stuff. You don't have a lot of time with it at all. Oops. Now, I'm a complete beginner, as you can see with this. Even all the crafts I've ever done in my lifetime, I've never really did this. I hope the tail doesn't fall off because there's not much to the tail. These are for silicon. These. I'll do a few of these little round things and I'm going to pour it into a coaster because I don't think I've got much time with this. Well, I've made a mess of that one. Where's the Libra one? I need to do my own star sign. Where is it? Oh, I don't know. I just need to go with it quickly. Now, someone did say that if it starts to set quite quickly, you can add a little bit more water. I think that one's Libra there. I'm not sure. I can sand it. Oops, that's just a bit <laughs> too much. Oh, what was this? My sister Sandra's going to be killing herself laughing. Wait, you hear this? She's going to be thinking, what the heck are you doing? Now, I'm going to get the coaster. What? Poster, do we think this will work in a round one? Will we do a round one. We're just going to have to do a round one because I need to get my knife. This is setting <laughs> quick. It is setting really quick. Look at this. This is like the stuff that you would almost make a splint with, you know, a plaster cast for your arm. And I'm just, I'm, I, I, do you know something? Do you know what the problem is? I am hopeless at cooking. And this is what this is like. Now, but you learn. You learn by your mistakes. It's not going to be a very thick coaster, Alison. But do you know what? That could be actually, I wonder if the silicon one will actually sit on that because I could, that could be the base. I'm going to tap it. To hopefully get any, if there is any bubbles. It sets quickly. It sets quickly. It should, that's just going to be a white disc. <laughs> but at least I'm trying it. And then I've got plenty to keep. I've got plenty to keep if I get my other moulds in time. Wow, that is so quickly set. Got a little bubble there. Maybe just, oh my goodness, look at that. The knife's not even, go look, I'll do up here. Look. There we go, you can see, look at that. The knife's not even going in that far. It's like rubbery. Wow, that is quick. That is quick. That's quicker than what anybody's actually said. 
on on YouTube or the other videos, this will wash out. And look at how quickly this is set. Look. Look at that. It's like dried up PVA glue. But it's just powder. And look at that just scraping out of my dish. So once that's all dry, because it's a silicon dish, and use little plastic cups. I think I would take a few tries of this. But it's not exactly all that really, really cheap. They are doing some good deals because it's coming up to Christmas. That is really set. Now, I'm going to get the other end of my little stick. And look at that. Look at that. That is set already. It's completely, it is. Look. It's jelly. Wow. That sets fast. Anyway, it says it sets in about 20 minutes. I'll put these ones in. Oh, you can really feel that it's setting. It's not hot. It's not like when you use plaster of Paris and it goes hot. I think I've been a little bit over the top with those. It looks like chocolate buttons. I might have to <laughs> sand the back of it and smooth it down. But do you know what? Look at that. Did I get the Libra? Yeah, I think I did. I probably didn't. But never mind. I'm going to sit them there. I'll just leave them sitting down there. So I'm going to leave those to dry off. So it's been a little bit more than actually an hour. I'm going to take these out because they should be set, but then I'll still need to leave them to cure. Now, they're nice and soft on the back. They're not soft, but they're silky. It feels nice and smooth. And I'm going to have to sand it because it is sort of risen. <laughs> but it's the first time I've done this. So I'm going to take this out of the mould and see what it's like. I don't think I've got like a hole for a key ring that's meant to have a hole. The hole's not right through. I think I put too much in because I think the hole is supposed to come level and I've got it too high, definitely. There we go. A little bit there's broken. That says Taurus. Look at that. That's not bad, actually. Now, the hole is kind of broken, but I think my moulds are more for silicon moulds than for this type. But it does show the picture up quite well. It's not bad for a first time. I'm sure that you would kind of learn which moulds you can. And I will say that... Some of the videos that I've seen on YouTube, they have actually used large moulds for this stuff. I haven't seen some of them. Were, I've saw one that, that was quite intricate, but it didn't turn out too great. I think, oh, that's a bit better. I wouldn't use this stuff for a keyring anyway. I think it's too chalky. It's very chalky. That's and Look at this. This is the, the stuff that's dried. And look at that. It's just went back to powder again. So I think you really would need to seal them with something the waterproof. Now that's a Gemini. That one. I wonder if this is, is the Libra one. I think it is. This is my star sign. That came out easier. <laughs> have a look at all that stuff around there. I'd need to sign with that. It just reminds me of chalk. I'm sorry, but that's exactly what it, do you know what? It, exactly it feels like a stick of chalk. You know, I must have got some air bubbles in this. The hole was much better, as you can see. And the pattern came out really nice. It's really detailed, but to me, it feels like a stick of chalk. Like when you use plaster of Paris. Now, let's see if my little fishies will come out without breaking. Now, as you can see, the tail is very thin. And I think these are going to be more for silicon. Oh, but the tail's broken there. 
and they've been in for more than 20 minutes. I might leave one overnight, but I don't think it's going to make much difference. Because like I said, this stuff is like chalk. It's like an aspirin. Do you know like when you get a paracetamol and it's like, that's what it reminds me. Oh, it's taken that on. Beautiful. Look at that. It's taken all that part of this koi carp. I suppose I could actually glue that piece of tail back on. But I was a little bit like, I mean, it's the first time I poured it. So I have poured it a little bit higher than it needs to be on it. That would need to sand off. But look how powdery it's just going back to. So definitely you could paint it. Do you know what it actually reminds me of? Uh, way back in the 70s, the late 70s, early 80s, there was a thing called Shaker Maker. Now, I don't know in the UK. I'm sure they had it in America as well and other countries. And it was... You put the plaster into the water and then you shook it. You put a, it was like two cups and you screwed them together and you, there was a mould inside the top and you shook it and shook it and shook it and then you that's why it was called shaker maker. Then you turned it upside down so that all the stuff, all the liquid ran down into the mould and then you uncup it and you left the mould to set and then it had these little... I don't know if it was Care Bears or something like that. These little uh, Forever Friends bears. Uh, one of my sisters got it at Christmas one time. And I, th that's what this reminds me of. This kind of powder. But it also just reminds me of Plaster of Paris as well. So maybe that's just what the posh word is for this. That resin crete. Eco water base. But then so is Plaster of Paris. But it's got a lot less bubbles in it and it really is smooth. And I'm telling you one thing, it just keeps... The more you smooth over this, the more it just reminds me of chalk. Now let's see if we can get this one out. Now I did do three and I tried a little bit early to take this one out. And the tail, the tail's broken off. And the fin's broken off of that one. Now this has been in here a little bit longer, a lot longer than the 20 to 30 minutes. That it says it's been in for about, I would say about an hour, two hours nearly. But it is so pretty though. It has taken, I'll need to use that mould with the other liquid one. But we'll do that in another video. Because I, I need to get other moulds. I need to get, I've just got these moulds, those and those great big ones. So we'll pop that, it comes out quite clean. It comes out the, the mould really clean. And it washed out of my little mixers. No problem whatsoever. Just from when I remember. It is, just reminds me of chalk. Maybe that's actually what it is. But all these little bits. And that's my mould all nice and cleared out. Look at that. It comes out really easy. And that one's really nice and clean as well. Dare I do this one? I'm just going to have to. It's been in long enough. Let's see if I can pop this one out and keep its tail intact. Oh, yes. Come on. Out you go. Whee! Yay! We've got that one out intact. So I'm going to leave them to dry though. I'm going to put them over there. And I'll leave them to cure, it's called. I might just find that one's tail and those little fins. I could glue them on. Those are just scrap pieces. Now we'll take this big one out. Now this is just going to look like a white disc of chalk, I think. Look at that. It comes out so neat. Pop that out. Do it that way. It still feels a little bit damp. But they do say that the curing for this is a few days. The longer you can leave it to dry out before you paint it or that, the better. Now I've got a few air bubbles in it. And it definitely just is so smooth though. 
it is really really super smooth but first time I've done it I've got a couple of little air bubbles didn't smack it enough to get the air out but it definitely so one Christmas there was um, I had got one and it was for making cameos and the powder in it definitely was it, this is what it feels like it definitely was like a chalk and then you could put sit when it was wet you put this little um pin in it for a badge and it made these little round cameos but it feels so soft i would need to leave it to dry and then maybe paint over it with pva glue or something so that or something else so that maybe some varnish so i could sit my cup on it i don't want to snap it i think it will i can feel that it's still a little bit i've got some of that stuff under my nails i can feel it's a little bit damp when you smell it it says that there isn't any smell but do you know what it smells very vaguely of pva glue like um wood glue like you get in the school or maybe paint like that very when you make powder paint up that's what it kind of smells like but there's no odor in the air or anything it's only when you shove it right under your nose <laughs> Maybe just because it needs to dry. So I'm going to leave them there to dry. Oh, I think I might just get a pen and write my name on that. I think all I'll do is just write my name on it. Draw a little picture on it and keep my cup on it. So in all, oh look, do you know what? I could actually find the flattest side of that. Do you know, I could actually just make myself a little... have that one because the tail's broken i can tidy that up and just take that off so it's going in that way and then maybe or that one because he's lost his tail altogether i can sand it so it's nice and even and then have that one maybe going in that way look at that found some pigment to put in i can paint it I could paint it blue first and then I could paint them gold and silver and then maybe just tidy them all up and put them on there. So there we go. Beautiful. But thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and please click on the bell icon. And I'm sure if I use this a lot more, I would get really good at using it. It would be really good. It's not bad for a first attempt not bad at all super smooth though super smooth it's beautiful if you want if you click on the bell icon youtube will tell you when i put up another tutorial so until the next time happy crafting and i'll see you all again soon goodbye